Welcome to Castle Marine Golf and Country Club. My name is David Holder, I'm the head professional here. This is our clubhouse that was built last year. The golf course was built in the year 2000, so we've been open around about seven years now. The golf course is around about 6,000 yards long and it's quite tight, quite tricky to play, and the greens are very, very good and fast. It's quite short for a, a golf course, but it's very, very tricky, so it does punish wayward shots. The course was designed by an Englishman called Terry Murray and is owned by a famous Dutch former disc jockey called Willem van Koten. Here at Castle Marine we have uh, various practice facilities. We have two driving ranges, a practice hole, a putting green and a pitching area. So we cater for all people looking for tuition, group lessons, private lessons. The clubhouse here has two restaurants. We have a gym, sauna, amazing view from the top of the of the clubhouse here on the top terrace and we also have a restaurant down on the beach. I'll be seeing you later when we play the fifth hole which is a signature hole at Castro Marine. Gives you a good idea of the views we have over the eastern Algarve, Spain and Portugal and I look forward to seeing you again soon at Castro Marine Golf and Country Club. Castro Marine is one of the shortest courses on the eastern Algarve but don't let its length deceive you. The amazing landscape the course is carved out of provides a really stern and interesting test which is popular even with the local pros. There's some water and very little sand in the 18-hole track, but the clever design of the course makes it a challenge for the short game and overall, correct club selection is crucial. Nearly every hole at Castro Marim has the classic risk and reward conundrum which keeps all levels of player on their toes. Built to reflect the scale and majesty of the nearby castle at Castro Marim, from where the club gets its name, the clubhouse is surely one of the most audacious buildings on the eastern Argarve golf scene, which is a great place to unwind after your round. But the most unforgettable feature of the club is surely the view. The course sits high on the hills above the town of Castro Marim, overlooking the border between Spain and Portugal. On a clear day, you can see well into Spain and down to the Guadiana River where a number of exciting developments are springing up. The facilities at Castro Marim include a large driving range, short game and putting areas and full teaching packages are available for individuals or groups with English pro David Holder. Soon there will be an additional nine holes to reckon with, so look out for that. On a serious note, it is sensible to pre-book buggies at Castro Marim as the terrain is very challenging if you choose to play on foot. But don't let this put you off. The well-sculpted fairways form natural amphitheatres for each hole, which reward the straight and punish the wayward. Castro Marim has been established some time now and has a faithful following amongst those who know. It kick-started the wider development of other courses in the region, establishing the Eastern Algarve as a true golfing destination in its own right. So here we are on the fifth tee at Castro Marine, the signature hole. It's a par four, 360 yards, downhill, usually plays into the prevailing wind, so it's quite a tough tee shot. Uh, there are no bunkers on the hole at all, just a big lake in front of the green. So the idea with the tee shot is to try and let, leave the tee shot short of the water, so taking a driver is not really advisable. So I'm taking a, a rescue two which should hit the ball around about 200 metres, which gives me the perfect position for the approach to the green. The second shot, I'm taking a pitching wedge. I've got about 100 yards left. Uh, obviously, the flag today is cut at the front, so depending on the flag position, maybe I'll take a nine, possibly an eight, depending on the wind conditions. Uh, pitching wedge is the club for today. When I get to the green, the greens here at Castro Marine, very, very good, very fast, quite difficult to read. So the main concern is trying to get the pace 
on the approach putt if you're approaching from a long distance. I've got a reasonable birdie putt here today, so obviously I'm looking to make it.